What is up, survivors? Today we're going to be talking about taming the Gigantopithecus, the Bigfoot, the gorilla. It's got a lot of names uh, and super useful critter. Typically, you're going to find this guy in like a Redwoods style areas, either Redwoods or like maybe a frozen area like on Genesis, but that's pretty much it. Uh, they're giant gorillas. Um, they are a medium mount that does not require a saddle, but they do have a lot of really cool uses. Um, first and foremost, they can grab berries for you. They can grab berries, they can get thatch and wood off of trees. Not a whole lot of wood, definitely more thatch. Right with that primary attack. That primary attack is also an AOE attack that does knock back to creatures, a lot of creatures. So you can do pushback to a lot of creatures in an area with just one hit with this guy. Right click, if I hold it in, I get the crosshair option that comes up. And if I let it go, the gorilla is actually going to toss me. Um, this makes it really funny on places like PDE or PDE where you want to get over a wall into someone's base or something like that. Or even if you're just trying to get up to an obstacle, wherever you're at, if you're just trying to get up to somewhere, combining this throw option with something like a glider suit or the parachute can make this so you can go pretty far and cover a lot of ground pretty easily with it. Plus, it's funny, to be honest. This is only a level 8, but as you can see, the stats aren't too bad. The health is actually pretty good. Stamina management is actually really good with this one, so you don't need a lot of stamina. Oxygen, you can level this guy up to make him really good in the water as well. Um, mainly because you can get him to swim a decent speed, and the AoE hit in the water makes it incredibly useful for handling big swarms of things that are in the water as well. Uh, weight, he doesn't carry a whole lot, but you can definitely go into that a little bit. Predominantly, I would say melee. Health stamina is probably where you want to go, unless you want to go deep water diving, then I would say oxygen with this guy as well. Um, an all around pretty good mount. So he can also carry shoulder animals on top of his shoulder as well. So in most shoulder pets, he can just have sitting on his shoulder as well, which makes things like aberration a little bit easier because you can have a charge animal sitting on the shoulders of the gorilla, kind of like working like a mobile torch for you. Um, the other things about the Gigantopithecus is that it can actually wear a helmet. You can wear, you can craft helmets and put them on here all the way up to, to something like a ride helmet, giving you extra armor. So while you don't necessarily have the option for a saddle for more armor, you have the option for more, you have the option to use, uh, helmets as armor protection. So you're still getting that armor buff out of it. Really the, the Gigantopithecus is kind of a jack of all trades, but where he really excels at is cave exploration. Because of his size, he can fit in just about every single cave. And because of his knockback, sw as swarms of aggressive creatures are really not gonna stand a chance against you. You're gonna be able to push them out of the way. You're gonna be able to move them. You can be able to knock them all out of the way. Um, really good size, pretty tanky as far as caves are concerned. The Giganthopithecus is a, a pretty legit cave diver. Highly recommend this guy for cave diving. Um, no need for a saddle is kind of nice. The ability to shoot from the shoulders, uh, being able to throw you around if you're trying to get up to a cliff or a ledge or maybe an artifact that's just out of reach. Um, combining that with things like parachutes, glider suits, grappling hooks can make it even easier for you. Uh, and the AOE attack that does knock back on just about anything. Um, a small group of these guys can be a real big hassle for even the bigger dinos because of the how easily they can just push them all around. Uh, but that's it. Uh, let's talk about taming this guy. It's a pretty simple option. It's a passive tame, and we'll we'll get into that right now. All right. So Gigantopithecus, the Bigfoot guys, can typically be found in in the Redwoods area. Um, they'll they're, they're they they tend to just wander around. They're not really hyper aggressive unless you go after them or mess with them. They'll pretty much leave you alone. Taming them is done passively. You can do this with berries, or you can do this with kibble. Their preferred kibble is actually the regular, the regular kibble is what I have in my inventory here. I'm going to put that on our last slot and we're going to go up here and basically you just, you don't want to touch this guy with a passive feed. If you touch him, he's going to get angry and that'll be the end of it. You just want to inch up to him. Um, you can usually wait till this guy like stops moving, makes it a little bit easier. Bam, feed it and then you just sit back and wait till it's hungry again and you do the same thing. Really, the catch-all when you're doing this by yourself on foot is just to pay attention to the area around you, what's around you, and what might attack you or the gorilla while you're trying to tame it, making it a little bit difficult for you. But you should be able to get it done. It's a fairly simple process. If you had a flyer, you could pick it up, drop it in a box, and do this. Um, if you aggro this thing, if you do touch it and aggro it, there's a couple different solutions. One, you can get out of render range. That's really the, the end-all be-all way to do it you get out of render range of the gorilla it'll eventually calm down you can come back into render and start the process over again uh the other option if you have it in a pen in your base if you if you have something like a pack rhino with the gas that fires out of it you can use that to pacify the gorilla so that it's not angry anymore and then go back to taming that's pretty much it i'm just waiting on this guy to get fed again and uh we'll be good to go 
the gorillas are in fact mammals so you can breed them as well and so you'll have those as well uh that's pretty much it pretty easy pretty easy tame but very useful creature and they look awesome they look great and they're super useful there's a couple different variants of this too the aberrant version has like that glowy lights that typical aberrant creatures have but there's also untamable versions like yetis that you'll find in some of the ice castles like on like on the center in the ice cave and then also um, I think parts of Ragnarok actually have it as well and then also the Megapithecus that is the boss actually spawns a bunch of these guys in to help fight as well so there's a couple of there's a, the Aberrant version would be another version you could tame the Yeti is another versions would be ones that you can't but there are different versions of it floating around out there but that's pretty much it guys that's taming the Gigantopithecus and the abilities that it has if you like the video hit that like button hit that sub button I'll see you guys in the next one